What's up guys, QEJ3 Austin here, and we are continuing Let's Play Doritos Crash Course. This is now part four, and we are doing the London levels. Which I find to be very hard, and I will tell you why. I love this little animation with the soccer. Well, one thing I don't like about this is how dark it is. The deep red and the kind of deep blue. It just, the colors tell you, oh, this is going to be hell to pay. I, I don't know what it is about them. It just, it's just bad. And in my opinion, these levels may be harder than the Japan levels, which come after them. And also my avatar, it's not nothing special, it's just a just some outfit I threw together. It's not a character or anything. You gotta really wait on these. You have to back yourself up so that you don't go before you want to. Second place, not too bad. I love how this level is called Blimey. Kind of reminds me of a. Uh, is it Ron that said it in Harry Potter a lot? He went like, Blimey. And yes, that was my bad British accent. Blimey, Harry. I'm gonna stop doing British accents now. Oh, I hate this part. If you're not quick enough, it like flips you off. It really <laughs> flips you off. Yeah, it does kind of flip you off. And this part, it, it tricks you because you're like, oh no, I fell. No, it was meant to do that. And I don't know what is going on here. I am, I've never failed at this part before. There we go. And this is kind of cool. You want to get in the kind of the crevice of it if you can. Well, I didn't. I didn't have to, but so that you don't get crushed, that little, the dent that's in the ball, you want to like get yourself to be under that. And these are these are kind of like a scale. I guess like something you'd use in science class or something like that. You know what I mean. Uh, I suck, as usual. I always get stumped on this part. I always like miss my jumps. Basically, when you step on it, that's when it swings. Yeah, this part's not too bad. Sounds really glitching in my earbuds right now. I don't know if it is for you guys. 
You know, usually when I say that in a video, it ends up being fine for you guys, so I'm not even gonna worry. I usually uh, jump off down to the ramps, but if you stay on the rope, it actually carries you over to the last platform, which I think is... I am the biggest idiot ever created. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna jump now. This is cool. If I don't mess it up. Bam. Matrix. Third place. And I always think that animation's really cool. He's like a little doing gymnastics. And I know how in, like, I think it was parts two and three, I mentioned how they took things from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This, I think they also took. In Chemical Plant, they had things that did pretty much that same thing, only there were four blocks for each thing, not three. I stand by what I said in, I think it was part three. I think the developers played a lot of Sonic 2 before they made this game. They seem to be taking a lot of stuff from it. Whoa, no, 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 no. Come on. That was bullshit. This part's cool, but it can be tricky if you don't know what to do. Whichever one you're on, stay on it as long as you can until you can't stay on it anymore. And then jump to the next one and the next one. It's not that complicated if you know what to do. But I know the first time I practiced it, I had a hell of a time with it. I'm gonna... I may fail a couple times here on purpose. I want to show you guys this hidden passageway. I found it by accident when I was practicing, but I think it's really cool. Yeah, you're gonna, you may see me fail a couple times here, but it's on purpose, so I can show you this hidden passageway. I just hope it doesn't take that long. I, okay, I'm gonna try to describe it. If you see the little ledge that I'm trying to hit that's at the bottom of that big ramp, if you it, it'll look like you're trapped, like you can't go anywhere, but really just uh, keep going to the right, and it's like there's like a passageway behind the wall that you can't see, and then there's a trampoline that like boosts you up. I know you didn't get to see it, but... I failed enough times I didn't want to fail anymore. But we are on the last level of London. So basically the deal here is you see the ramps or the platforms in the background and they bounce from one to the next to the next and you have to time it because you know that when it's at the one that's like in the middle it's going to be coming to you next. And this is like that part from earlier. You step on it and that's when the hammer swings. So you have to go kind of quick. This part is always a bitch for me. You have to stay in the part that is not gonna be connecting with something. So 
so that you don't get crushed. And I love how these towers just fall. That's really cool. And of course, if you're not careful, you'll get crushed. I've never made it that... Okay, how do I explain this? That, just that part there, I've never made it by doing the... Whatchamacallits. I'm slurring my words. Uh, I've never made it by just doing the conveyor belts. I've always gone through the middle path. And that is the London levels. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching London. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, we will do the Japan levels. I don't, I'm not sure if we should do Japan or Japan Easy. You can see there's a choice. But I've never tried the Japan Easy levels. I know the Japan, the regular ones. So I don't know which one we'll do. I'll, I'll decide. But that'll be next time. And next video will probably be the finale of the Let's Play. And after that, I will have a uh, Bag of Decision video. Where we'll be choosing Let's Play number 5. Exciting times, guys. So until then, peace out.